Hi, I'm Ken Dijker riding Red Bull Factory KDM, and now we're doing a lap at Udevella. Magne Klingsheim, ride for Bike It Cosford Yamaha. Welcome to Sweden. This is Udevala. Kenda Dijka and Magne Klingsheim then take us down the start straight for the 2014 edition of this MXGP of Sweden. But this year we're going in the opposite direction through the sweeping left-hander at turn one. That used to be where the finish line was. And we step up into turn two, this right-hander. No stranger to winning here, of course. Kenda Dijka won his first ever Grand Prix back here at MX1. Dropping up through the shallow valley, through turn three, onto the hard straight, over the tabletop. Nice knack-knack there from Kenda Dijka on the Rebel KTM. Then dropping down, you can go single, double, single through these waves, or singles all the way down to the bottom through this left-hander. See how a little bit off-camera it is from left to right before working the way up. Two single jumps or a double if you're lucky. Short little uphill straight into this right-hander. Then we have the first of the Monster Energy tabletops. More of a step down. See how hard and slick and stony it is. Through the Talladega-style turn. Real big, bold turn. Then uphill. Again, a series of single jumps that the riders will go uphill. That used to be a downhill wave section. Through the tight right. Easy on the throttle, hard and slick, lots of loose stones. It's an old rock quarry, but still very much in use over the other side of the racetrack. Out of the left, over a small tabletop, then we head uphill, possibly one of the longest straights. The second of the Monster Energy tabletops take the riders through here, turn 12. This is where Kai Rowley came unstuck, if you remember, in 2012. But then we drop downhill over the short tabletop, through the left, double apex, past what used to be turn two here. And then into the tight right-hander, a new part of the racetrack, heading back uphill onto the plateau. And then again, a single, single series of waves. You can take the middle two actually as a double, but most guys monoing. Into the left-hander, highest point of the circuit, over the Ippon tabletop jump. And then we drop downhill through a very fast sweeping left-hand turn. This takes us through this left uphill over the monster energy finish line jump there down past pit lane and at the end we go left and right and we're back on the start straight heading back to turn one